This is a story about metamorphosis with an alien invasion. It begins when Shinichi wakes up in the middle of the night being attacked by a parasite. By luck, he could manage this, preventing the parasite going to his brain. Now, the parasite will become a separate entity located in his right hand. You could think, based in the first chapter with the woman being in the board by her husband, this will be one of these gore mangas that doesn't go to any point beyond, life is a shit, but no. This manga is more mature than it looks, the world is very plausible, the violence has an utility, the humanity is very intelligent, the parasites have different identities, they are not just a hype mind. And their objective is to finish up the human race, but all of them have a different close-up in this issue, in general the world building is very well done. The characters are very plausible, and the parasites are not overpowered giving sense that the human race can face to them. Even a normal human can face them with a little bit of ingenuity or certain knowledge of human anatomy. It has a very interesting moral dilemmas like the value of life or how the fight for survival works. In my opinion, an interesting point is that the parasites don't understand human emotions, cause they are not human, that's why they don't have appreciation for life, at least not until they live with humans for a while. A negative point is the loss of memories that removes the background. The solution is that these have a high interest in learning. But it doesn't make less convenient for a small being to understand the knowledge of languages and advanced concepts. Skipping the mention that the infected human doesn't affect the condition of the parasite. For example, Miggy still have a high level of intelligence despite not getting into the brain, even when these are not his optimal conditions. Characters like the other half infector or the father are not important on history. It could be more interesting seeing the old perspective and the relationship with the main character in more parts of the story. It's the same with the build and maybe another half infected could be more useful. The art is very well made, the characters are very different to each other. And very consistent, with a style not too cartoony like in Devilman. The parasites have their own unique style, in my opinion, are not very repeatable. It's a 8 out of 10, and I really like to see someone to try to overcome this manga. It will be an evolution very interesting and worthy to watch.